For Ultimate Team Coins, check out GameGoldTrader.com. Their link is in the description below, a very fast and reliable service. And if you use the discount code NEPO at checkout, you get a discount on your coins. They also offer PSN, MSP, and other Game Gold as well. What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of the best team in FIFA. If you don't know about this series, the way this started about is basically I had a team or have a team that I don't actually play with anymore that I absolutely loved. So I thought I thought it was the best team in FIFA and I still actually stand by what I think about that sort of team. And if you want to go back to episode one of this series, there is a playlist in the link below, in the description below, sorry. Um, yeah, if you go back to episode one of that, you'll see my best team in FIFA. Uh, what I've done here today, I've done for 27 episodes your best team in FIFA. I wanted to do today again a team that I think is going to be really good and the reason why I wanted to do this is because the last best team in FIFA we used I thought was going to be a really good team and it sucked ball bags or maybe I suck ball bags who knows you know maybe I'm not so good at FIFA. So this is the team that I've picked. Kapow! There we go. Yes I have decided to go with the man of the match or I man of the match Robin. I managed to pick him up for 3.6 million and I've got team of the year Ibra which I picked up for 3.7 million. Team of the Ibra is one of my favourite players in the game. In fact, this whole team is built around some of my favourite players in the game. Um, Lucas at right mid, team of the season Mike on at right back. Actually, second in form Maturidi is one of my is one of my favourite CDMs, but I've gone for team of the season Maturidi. Javier Steiger, Royce is genuinely there just for chemistry reasons and for no other reasons, as is Alaba. But Boateng and Thiago Silva are two incredible uh, centre-backs. And then once again, Sirigu is there simply for chemistry reasons. So there's only three players there for chemistry reasons, but the rest of the players on this field are players that I've had incredible... Um, good luck with in FIFA. So I'm hoping that this team might prove to be the one that, again, sets alight the FIFA world and a team that, even though it is very expensive, this team goes for something like 10 million, well, 9 million coins, something like 8, eight to eight to 9 million coins, given how cheap you can get the two strikers for. Um, but you can, of course, replace these two strikers with, like, Cavani and Aubameyang, and you'll get the, uh, you know, a very similar kind of, <laughs> a very similar kind of strike force. So this is a team that I built, guys. What I really like most about about this team again is the work rates of the defense uh, medium high for silver medium medium for Boateng um, Lucas for someone who has medium medium work rates on right midfield is incredible uh, we've got a medium low and a high low with Robin and Ibrahimovic so I'm really hoping that Ibra will kind of sit like in between the two centre CDMs as a cam or a centre forward rather than a striker and, and really interlink the play between the team um, I'm going to go and play five games with this team let you know how I get on with it. I've got really high hopes for this team. Let me know, before you watch the gameplay, let me know, just put as a guess what you think the ratings are going to be. You know, obviously I give attack, midfield and defence up to five stars. Let me th know what you think the ratings are going to be. And of course, how are you guys enjoying the World Cup? I'm going to try and throw up uh, the best team in FIFA teams with as many I Man of the Match cards as possible. And if you guys could leave a like on the video, that'd be awesome. But for now, guys, I've rabbited on for far too long. Let's get into the gameplay. Right guys, as we go into the gameplay, as per usual, the first uh, things you're going to see is the teams I play against and then I'm going to show you all the goals I scored. Now, as we go actually into this gameplay, um, the second and third of the five games that I played both disconnected early on. The, the second game that I played, it was 1-1 when it disconnected and the first game I played was 0-0 when it disconnected. So bear that in mind when you look at the player stats. Uh, at the end of the game that, you know, I'd say actually these player stats are, are more for three games rather than for five games. Um, that being said, this team is absolutely phenomenal. Like, I, I used to have Zlatan Ibrahimovic team of the year version in a team and I loved him. And I sold him so that I could open packs and buy players from the BPL team of the season or just generally the team of the season when it came out. And now that I've had him back, I can't believe I ever sold him. He is he is genuinely the greatest player on this game. And as he should be as well. Like, Well, I suppose maybe Ronaldo's striker should probably be the greatest player on the game. But um, Zlatan's card is crazy, crazy good. I've given the attack 5-star, the midfield 5-star, and the defence 4-star. But the defence I've given 4-star not because of the actual defence. The defence itself was really, really strong. Um, it, it just seemed to be actually Sirigu that was the problem um he, he's not the greatest goalkeeper I've, I've never really had o overly bad problems with him before but he just seems to like parry a lot of stupid stuff he lets in like shots that i've seen like you know team of the season petter check save and um 
it's a shame that he's a defender. I might try and rework the defence and uh, goalkeeper to get someone better in goal there. Um, but yeah, so that's why I've given the defence a four-star rating. Overall, this team is a five-star. And the 4-4-2-2 formation with Schweinsteiger and Matuidi at CDMs, they are absolutely phenomenal. Like, they don't do much. They don't score many goals. They don't get many assists. They are just brilliant. And this right here, guys, is exactly why Ibra is the best player. He chests it down. He holds the defender off, takes two touches, and then bang. And it just flies into the top left-hand corner like an absolutely great goal. This is the game here against this team that actually disconnected. I'll, I even show you here as well. I think I put the little bit of play in where um, where they got. I'm, I'm on the ball down the left-hand side. 22nd minute here. Play it through to Marco Royce. Boom. Disconnects and that's the game over. So, uh, you know, no stats in that game at all. Bit of a shame. But, um, yeah, this team, guys... It is worth a lot. I don't, like at the time of making the video and making the team, Ibra went for three point eight million, I think, and Robin for three point eight as well. Um, so I don't really know where their prices are at right now because the team of the year players' prices, players, players like Ibra, their prices go up and down all the time. Um, Ibra is actually at the moment at around four point two million. Um, and Robin's price, I can imagine, would also be fluctuating. Like I bought Neymar for four million. Um, I sold him for four and a half million. I've seen a couple today go for five and a half million. Um, and the same could probably be said for how Robin's card will be as well. You know, he might go for really cheap one day, or I say really cheap, but cheap one day and expensive the next day. But for 10 million or so, maybe eight to 10 million is probably a better price range for this team. Um, it's not the best value for money simply because, you know, I can build a team for 50k that will win as many games as this team will win. But this team just seems to have the edge. Like, it just seems to have such a great difference. Other than the goalkeeper, uh, which I will try and rework, having those two strikes up front. Robin actually, I don't think, scored in these five games. Or if he did, he only scored one. But he was a handful. His shot earned me a couple of corners at times that uh, Zlatan scored from. Uh, he was generally just a pain in the bum. You know, like, right there, I could have I could have cut that back to him. Instead, I tried to give the, the goal to Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Um, well, I didn't try to give the goal to Zlatan. I did score the goal with Zlatan. But Robin, he's he's got a few assists from crosses to Zlatan. You know that big heading, 87 heading, and a, and a big guy. Um, it was just, it was a great, great team to play with, a joy to play with. And I think, I think Zlatan scored 11 goals in five games. Bearing in mind that one game finished 1-1 one, one and disconnected in the 30-something minute, and one game finished nil-nil, disconnected in the 20-something minute. It's just crazy that I managed to score that many goals with him in that few games. So, um, do I recommend this team? Hell yeah. Do you want to try it out with non-blue players? Hell yeah. You probably have to pick it up for about, I don't know, maybe a million or so altogether. Maybe 1.2 million. Of course, you wouldn't be able to have Robin as a striker. You'd have to play somebody else up there. Maybe Mandzukic. But um, this is a fantastic team to play with. And I highly recommend anyone that can afford it to go out there and test this team out. It is brilliant. Lucas, for me, is probably my favorite right mid on the game this year. So, uh, yeah. Go out there. Try this team, guys. It's absolutely phenomenal to play with. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. I'm out. Peace. One, one. He's tried it two times, guys. Let's do it ourselves. Bang. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, we can get it. We can get it. It's 2-1. Get in. You know what? I've tried not to do the kickoff glitch so much anymore, but he's hit me with it two times so far, and he didn't manage to get